This is a sight that I don't much like to see in our vegetable garden. This insect is a squash bug, Anassa tristis, and this is the adult uh, female. She's on my squash plants coming to lay some eggs, and our plants have all the life stages present, which is a, a good teaching opportunity. And these are what the eggs look like. They're kind of a coppery colored, uh, somewhat oval, and they're laid in a mass like that. And over um, on this side of the leaf are some newly emerged immatures or nymphs. And these insects will go through several stages and gradually get larger until they become a mature adult. Now managing squash bugs in the home garden can take a, there's several things we could do, sort of a multi-tactic approach. When the plants are young and just established, we could protect them with a floating row cover, but because the flowers are pollinated by insects, we have to remove those as soon as these flowers appear so that they can be fertilized. So really the best method is to regularly scout our plants and come through when we see these egg masses and squish them with our fingers. So we're gonna squish the squash bugs that I've kind of rolled them off into my hand and I'm, I'm squishing them. And we could do the same thing with our immatures, is just come in and squish them. Now if you're a little timid about squishing the insects in your hand, what you might do is get a bucket of soapy water and knock them into the soapy water and they'll drown in there. And this is true when you get some of the bigger ones uh, like these, or they, they get quite a bit larger. People don't much like to squash them. Another thing we could do is lay a board in our garden and the adult insects will climb under this at night. They seek shelter and in the morning you could just lift the board and you'll find all the adults and at that time you could squash them or you could brush them into your soapy water and kill them that way. There are some plant protectants such as kaolin powder uh, which is a clay also diatomaceous earth, which is made from crushed uh, crustacean shells. And these can be dusted on the plant and they'll, what they do is scrape the cuticle or the lining of the insect and cause it to desiccate or dry out. For non-organic growers, um, chemical products are also available to manage squash bugs.